Merry Christmas, Crutchit. Where's Uncle Evie? Merry Christmas too, sir. He is in his office. Oh, well, thank you. Merry Christmas, Uncle Levy. God thank you. Bah, Christmas, Christmas, a humbug uncle? You don't mean it, I am sure. I do. Merry Christmas? What's right to be merry? What's reason to be merry? You're poor enough. Come then, what have right to be this month? You're rich enough. Bah, humbug. Don't be a cross uncle. Come and join with us tomorrow. My wife and my friends prepared. And, of course, you, uncle. Why, why you get married? Because I fell in love. Because you fell in love? Good afternoon. Nay, uncle. Scrooge and Marnie, have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Marnie? Yeah. Festive season of year, Mr. Scrooge. It is more than usual desirable that we should make some slight provisions for poor and destitute. Who we'll suffer greatly at this time, sir? Are there no prisons? The new new working house. Land of prisons. They are still workhouses, sir, but I wish I could say they are not working. Merry Christmas, gentlemen, for there's nothing.
Merry Christmas, everyone. I am so happy that you are all here. Merry Christmas, too, Fred. You know, guys, Uncle Scrooge believes that Christmas is a humbug. More shame with you, Fred. He's a chemical old fellow. That's the truth. And he carries his own punishment. And I have nothing to say against him. I'm sure he's very rich, Fred. At least you tell me so. What of that, my dear? His mouth is no use to him. He don't do anything good with it. He don't make himself comfortable with it. He has no satisfaction, but I can't be angry with him. Let us forget about that and be merry. Spirit, please tell me it's not me. No one even cares to remember me. Spirit. 